In the heart of China, one of the world's largest engineering marvels, the Three Gorges Dam, is once again in the global spotlight. Recently, authorities opened 11 spillway gates of the dam, releasing a tremendous amount of water into the Yangtze River. But why did this happen? Is this a routine operation, or is something more serious going on behind the scenes? In this video, we'll explore the reasons behind this massive release, the potential risks, and whether China's megastructure is facing real danger. 1. What is the Three Gorges Dam? The Three Gorges Dam, located on the Yangtze River in Hubei Province, is the largest hydroelectric power station in the world in terms of installed capacity. It stretches over 2.3 kilometers and stands 185 meters tall. Built primarily for flood control, power generation, and navigation, the dam has always been a symbol of China's engineering strength, but it has also been a topic of controversy due to its environmental and geological impacts. Every summer, China experiences heavy rainfall. The Yangtze River Basin is particularly prone to floods, and in such seasons, the dam plays a critical role in managing water levels across dozens of provinces. 2. What happened recently? On July 15, 2025, Chinese authorities made a bold decision. Eleven spillway gates of the Three Gorges Dam were opened simultaneously. This wasn't just a minor release. Tens of thousands of cubic meters per second of water were discharged downstream. Satellite images and drone footage show massive torrents of water gushing out, raising concerns both in China and internationally. Videos from nearby towns showed rivers swelling rapidly, triggering evacuation orders in certain low-lying areas. But the big question is, why now? Was it planned or was it a response to an emergency? 3. Why were the gates opened? 3.30 to 4.45. According to the China Three Gorges Corporation, the dam was forced to open multiple gates due to record rainfall in the upper reaches of the Yangtze River. Provinces like Sichuan, Chongqing, and parts of Hubei received over 200 millimeters of rainfall in just 48 hours. To prevent the dam from reaching its maximum capacity and to reduce the pressure on its structure, engineers had no choice but to discharge water. It was a calculated risk release water now to avoid a catastrophic overflow later. Still, such large-scale openings are rare, and the scale of the release raised alarms. Some experts worry that this might be a sign of increased vulnerability due to climate change or even structural stress within the dam itself. 4. What are the consequences? The immediate consequence was flooding in downstream cities like Yichang and Jingzhou. Authorities quickly activated flood emergency protocols. Crops were damaged, transportation was disrupted, and thousands had to be relocated temporarily. Economically, the flooding of farmlands and roads could cost millions of dollars. Social media in China showed residents struggling with rising waters in their neighborhoods and sparked rumors about the dam's safety. However, officials insist that the dam is structurally sound and operating within safety margins. Still, many environmental scientists argue that the increasing frequency of such gate openings indicates deeper issues, changing climate patterns, sediment buildup, and long-term pressure on the dam's foundations. Moreover, this release is now triggering thread-like rise, a term used locally to describe gradual, layered water level increases in multiple tributaries downstream. These thread-like surges can lead to delayed flooding, which might catch small towns off guard. So what does the opening of these 11 gates really tell us? It shows that even the most powerful human-built structures are at the mercy of nature. While the Three Gorges Dam remains an engineering marvel, it is also a constant reminder of the balance between control and chaos. Will China have to rethink its flood control strategies? Are more such releases expected this summer? And could we be looking at long-term risks to the dam's stability? These are questions that remain unanswered. But one thing is clear, the eyes of the world will continue to watch the Yangtze closely. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below.